Hi, I'm Sandra Garrett of Sandra Garrett Design at sandragarrett.com and I'm going to give you some tips on how to decorate a zebra t-shirt. So let's get started. First of all, the materials you'll need is some zebra fabric. And in th this case, I found some really, really great polar fleece, uh, which is a knit, not your normal t-shirt, but really inexpensive and just a really great wild print. You'll also need some sharp sewing shears, a ruler, and some tailor's chalk to mark, and a big box of tiny little safety pens, and that's what we're going to be decorating with. So first off, we take our fabric, and this is just a great little polar fleece, but really wild fabric. So we fold this in half, smooth it out, so it's kind of a T, T shape, uh, but we're actually going to be making a traditional kind of poncho with the T-shape. So first thing we do is measure the width of our T. And that's at 49 inches. So we want to take our center mark of that, which will be 24 and a half. Mark that with our tailor's chalk. And then we're going to make an 8-inch neck opening. So using our center point, we're going to do four inches on either side and mark that. Then with our sharp shears, we just cut into the fabric and then open up that neckline. And the great thing with the polar fleece is you don't really have to hem it. And with just a little bit of a tug, you're going to get a nice self-rolled neckline that won't unravel and is a clean finish. Now that we've got our basic kind of T poncho shape, let me show you how we're going to decorate this. And since it's got a very kind of clubby, wild, uh, literally wild uh, look to it, what we're going to do in kind of a real post-punk fashion is take a lot of these little tiny silver safety pins and we're just going to start pinning these all the way around the neckline, almost uh, kind of a punk bling jewelry effect. And this can take a little time. Make sure you've got a lot of pins. I like the little tiny ones. You might want to use the larger ones. Uh, they come in different sizes. And with the zebra, I like to use the silver tone as opposed to the uh, gold tone. So just keep pinning these along until you get the look that you like. So thanks for joining me on decorating zebra t-shirts and this is Sandra Garrett.